Here with Bruce Brown back at barn number 60 on the backstretch of Saratoga Racetrack. You have Robin Sparkles going today, winner of last time out. How's the horse been working since the last race? Great. She really, she came out of that race really good. Um, she got her normal time at the farm for a little bit, but she's she's bounced out of that very good. She's she's fresh. Um, happy that the rain kind of stayed, you know, we didn't get any rain, so it should be a nice and firm, uh, firm turf course, which she loves. And... Um, really expecting her to, to run a big race. I think this field's a little tougher than she faced last time out. Um, you know, can you tell me what she needs to do today to win this race? Yeah, you know, her thing is her speed and it's, and it's just a matter of how, um, you know, how much she gets pressed early and if Javier can get her to, uh, get her to relax and he's the best, you know, he's, as far as getting a horse, you know, getting speed horses to kind of, you know, relax without having to take too much out of him. He's very good. He's got, he's got, I think he's got the best set of hands, um, there is and he's been riding at the top of his game for this at this meet especially so um you know i think that's that's the main thing just as she gets out there and if he can nurse her along and try to get her her biggest thing is if she can get a breather around the turn a little bit and then she tends she usually puts up a you know even if she doesn't win she'll she'll usually put up a fight to the wire that's why she her on the board numbers are so big she always she always keeps digging to the to the very end so last question for you here uh you drew the three on the inside there's a little bit of speed coming from the outside were you happy with the post? Yeah, you know, I uh, maybe like a little bit more outside just because then you're, you know, the further you are inside, you're kind of at the, you really, you know, you, there's more pressure to go. Um, but with her speed, you know, and I think everybody kind of knows the kind of speed she has. So I think she's got the reputation where I don't know how many people are really want to, you know, if, if they if they're interested in winning the race, I don't really, don't really think they'd want to go with her too much. But um, but I you know I would have liked to have been a little more towards the middle. But you just have to, you know you just have to take what you get as far as that. Well, good luck today. Thank you very much. It's a tough race though. You know, there's some very nice fillies in there, and um, like you said, she's had a little bit of a gap in her in her races. She wasn't she's not coming off a layoff. She wasn't turned out or anything. She was training, but. Um, definitely a space in the races so um, we'll see how she hopefully she relaxes and just kind of makes a run it's, it'll be a good springboard for um, next month there's a race at home you know at the pebbles so uh, anything can happen you know? was it more condition book based that sort of gap between races there wasn't really something you could find or no, I mean because just, that Breeders Cup was November and then we had two races and now here it's you know three in almost a year yeah well I mean you know she, she those races were pretty, you know, one after the other, and she's young, and there's a whole, there was a whole season, and just little things popped up that we said, let's just wait a little bit and just train and keep her going, but not, you know, just back off of the racing for just a little bit, you know? Well, it seems like the, uh, the field turned out pretty well for it. 20 to 1 in the morning line. I think that's a little uh, a little too high for what you're going to be seeing today. I think the horses, uh, people are forgetting about what the horse has done in the past. Yeah, yeah, well, I agree with you. I agree. I mean, these are all young fillies. They're all three-year-olds. They all can go forward or stay the same or, you know, so everybody's, um, everybody's learning, you know, so, um, but I, you know, take them all seriously. They're, they're all nice horses and good trainers that know what they're doing, so... Um, it's, uh, we'll see what happens. Good luck in the stakes today. Thank you. Okay, so, um, first of all, there's a rider change because Joel Rosario is, uh, off his now sick today, I'm notified, so we're going to put Flavian Pratt on the horse, and, uh, she's been training super, uh, first time around mile and a quarter, but, uh, she, she certainly looks like she's going to be capable of it, um, and, um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the race. I mean, it's a very exciting race. We have Nest here with some pale super horse. We've got Secret Oath. What does Jerry Mander need to do to win this race? Yeah, she's going to have to step up. I mean, she's coming off a great race. She's had a lot of uh, spacing between the race. So I think for her in particular, it's a good thing. And uh, But, you know, she's going to have to run the best race she's ever run in her life today. She's certainly training like she will. Whether that's going to be good enough or not, we'll have to see when the race is run. But... Um, I, I, she couldn't be doing any better, so we're going to take our shot. Well, congratulations on your win yesterday in the stakes race, Thank and good you. luck today. Thanks a lot.